Hello, hello! Welcome back to Road Tripping with Rachel. I am Rachel and thank you for joining me on this road trip. So we're going to do a little bit of a just a chit chatty Saturday with me. It is like going on like, well it's past 1230 at this point. But with that, I took the morning and I was working on getting some um, blogs done. So that way those will be ready to post on roadtrippingwithrachel.wordpress.com. So if you ha aren't following me, you should go on ahead and do that. But I like to invite you to join me on my road trips as I work my way through the Bible, through life, and then some of my time out on the road. So today we are going to actually, well, I shouldn't say today. This afternoon, <laughs> we are going to be baking. I'm just in a baking mood. It was kind of a rough week at work. Like, I'm not going to go into it, but, uh, cause I'd like to keep work and personal life pretty separate, but, uh, it was a rough week. We'll put it that way. It was a rough week. Um, so I really enjoy baking. It's a way for me to relax. I like to craft, to bake. I'm an 80 something year old lady in my heart and my soul. But today we are going to be baking. So uh, join me on it. I have not put my apron on yet, but I am going to be getting started. I've got um, yeast now bubbling. And when I say like we're baking, like we are baking. Like we're serious about it today. Take a look. Okay. We're serious, y'all. We are serious. Oh, it looks like you can kind of see a little bit of what switch this. Whoop, you can kind of see a little bit of that. Here, let me move that. Okay, so <laughs> we're serious. So we've got three bowls going. So my plan is I just feel like kind of experimenting a little bit today. Um, I'm going to make some things that I'm familiar with and a few things that are going to be a little bit new for me. So I am going to just kind of take you through this and we'll see how it all turns out. So we'll start with this one. So um, as you've probably seen, or if you've been following me on Instagram, I like to post a lot of pictures there. Um, I've been learning to work with sourdough. I did not get on that train during the pandemic, but I've gotten on it now. So I am going to be attempting to make um, a braid. And I think what my general plan is, I had made some apple butter here like a week or two ago. Um, that's still good, but I do need to get it used up. So I'm going to make an apple butter braid and I think I'll add extra cinnamon to it. And I, I just think it's, it's going to be really good. Um, I'm looking forward to trying something with that. So that's what this one is. Um, I'm going to be making, I don't know if it's really a thing in other places. I don't have this one really mixed up all that well. Let me kind of get it going just a little bit more help the help it get to that nice and bubbly stage um but i am planning on making like bosco sticks so this is what i used to make like all the time <laughs> um but i have some little like pearl mozzarella and so i am planning on making bosco sticks so basically i'm making a pizza dough and then i'm going to add some herbs and some other spices into the dough itself once i start really mixing it together and then i'm going to fold it around like pieces of mozzarella and then i'll be able to use it for dipping i have to hit the road this weekend and this is something that's really easy for me to take on the road to have as like a snack or things like that where i can kind of control like my calorie intake because i know what's going into it and this one i'm going to attempt pretzels um here a couple of weeks ago i made blueberry um, bagels and I accidentally boiled them a little too long so I want to try and intentionally do it this time around and see what happens actually turn them into pretzels so um, with the first one I'm gonna be adding some sourdough starter to it as well use up some discard and then I'm gonna use some discard also in the um, the pretzels as well and then I might add a little bit into the mozzarella um, Bosco stick or rolls um, just because like I somehow ended up with a whole lot of discard so I don't want it to all go to waste so we're gonna do that so we'll see once I actually get the doughs started like how things start turning out wish me luck all right so i've got everything mixed up so this is the um apple butter braid 
This is going to be the Bosco sticks. So on this one, you'll see that it's less because it's just it's just me. It's not like I'm going to be really sharing these with anybody. But I included garlic and rosemary in here. So um, I also mixed in some um, olive oil into it to serve as kind of my fat for the binding. Just as a side note, something I normally don't do on this one. Um, this is basically the recipe I would use for my cinnamon rolls, but instead of using butter, um, I used coconut oil in it, and instead of sugar, I used honey. And then this is going to be the pretzel. So we are going to see how that goes. The recipe for this, I'm actually like totally following, like I'm not like adjusting it or anything. And this one is from Farmhouse on Boone. So I'm following that recipe. We're gonna see how it goes. Supposedly it's gonna make 15 pretzels. So we shall see how that ends up working. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So it's been, oh, about an hour and a half or so. I know the pretzels, that one, they, it has to rise for quite a while. So here is what all of my dough is now looking like. So pretzel dough and has gotten bigger. We have the twist, it definitely is rose. I must have gotten more yeast in that one. Um, and then, plus like I used milk in that one, so I wonder if that affected it. And then here is the one for the Bosco stick, so everything is rising. Since I also was out and baking and I had a bunch of apples that I needed to get used up, I decided to make an apple pie. So we shall see how that ends up turning up. I did something fancy with the lattice we so um the bread i'm going to need to go in ahead and let the um the uh actual bread that's going to be the apple butter bread that one i need to punch down and i need to get it braided and like the whole nine yards then i am going to need to get water going for the pretzels um and then I am going to need to get the mozzarella and stuff out so I can get started on the Bosco sticks. So I'll let you see it all before like I actually begin the baking process. The pie was kind of like, eh, I'm making a mess anyway. Let's go on ahead and just like keep going. Um, and I needed to get those apples used up. So, and I was like, I feel creative. I want to do a fancy lattice. So I did. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it is now, it's going on four. <laughs> so I have been baking most of the afternoon. So it's like dough, anytime you are cooking with a dough, it has to really rise. Um, of course, it's you, you have to plan for that. So like I've been taking care of a few household things while everything's been cooking. But I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick look at as I've been prepping things. So apple pie has come out. I have the pretzels are now currently in the oven and I'm finishing up the Bosco rolls, but I wanted you to go on ahead and kind of see where I'm at right now. So here is the braid. So this is the braid. Um, I didn't account for like the fact that apple butter is basically jelly <laughs> um, and it's really wet. So you know, that's what it ended up looking like, but it's rising. It's going through its second rise. This one I made more as like a traditional roll. So it is rising. So I ended up with two out of this, um, two different loaves. So we'll see how they end up turning out. This is my apple pie. Isn't it pretty? I'm so proud of this. I am not a pie maker. Like I do much better with things like breads and cakes, cookies. Um, I am not a pie maker, but I wanted to make a pretty lattice and... I think it did. So that's pretty. I'm gonna make sure I take photos of it and post it on Instagram because it's gorgeous. Oh, and I, this is one of the paintings I found here a couple weeks ago. Isn't she pretty? Uh, I think it's very appropriate for the kitchen because she's in a kitchen and she's making something with bread. So I feel like at some point I'm going to need to find someone who will take a picture of me while I'm making like, uh, like cinnamon French toast or something like that and like, Take a picture of me in my apron while I'm done being milk in a bowl. That's how I'm feeling right now. Here is then the balls. So this is just some little um, like pearl mozzarella. 
And then this is the dough that I had prepared earlier. Like I said, I put garlic and rosemary in it. I am, had like flattened out. I divided it into eight. I flattened everything out and I am going to be then twisting them. So we shall see if I can manage to show you what it ends up looking like without making a huge mess or destroying my phone because that's what I used to film all this is my phone okay so that's mostly stable so whenever I do it just fold 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 do, do, do. we get a little ball and then I will put it in the pan pans over here on this side a cast iron skillet um I like cast iron and stoneware. I've said before, I'm basically this little old lady. And using cast iron and stoneware, one, they will last forever. But two, um, I really like them because of the lack of chemicals that are actually in it, in all honesty. Plus, there is also just its general durability, but also... Um, Sometimes I struggle with anemia. Not terrible, like, but, you know, it's normal. Most women do at some point. It's not that big of a deal overall, but using cast iron is a good way to kind of help combat that because just naturally you're going to end up absorbing a little bit of the metal and everything. Um, not anything in, like, amounts that are going to hurt you, but it's just... It's an easy way to make sure, like, I'm getting some minerals and some vitamins that I would otherwise have to be taking, like, supplements and stuff like that for. And this way, I'm getting it in a more natural way. Like, it's just coming to me, like, while I'm eating. Um, and, like, you don't use soap or anything on it. So, like, with a cast iron skillet. So, if you didn't know that, you just learned something new. Um, plus, I secretly... Not so secretly anymore because this is going to go on the internet. Uh, I think it would be really neat if I could eventually get to the point where I would be able to homestead. If not like full on homestead, then be able to at least make it to the point where like I could do way more from scratch cooking, growing gardens. I would like to go back to having chickens. I had them whenever I was younger. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. I'd like to raise um, ducks again. They're super messy though. And I... I'm not good at growing things. So <laughs> I think it would be great if I would be able to actually uh, grow things and not uh, like have to go to the grocery store all the time. I would like to be able to be more self-sustaining. Um, I laugh that I'm like borderline hippie. I'm not really, let me flip the phone around here. I'm not actually like a borderline hippie, but I do um, tend to be like pretty zero, like not zero waste because I don't think it's possible to be 100% zero waste. I'm at least pretty low waste and sorry, while I've been cooking, I've had, uh, I've had Discovery Plus on. I love Discovery Plus, particularly Magnolia, just throwing that out there, but I really enjoy um, like cooking and scratch cooking and um, being able to make very simple but hearty dishes and between being able to like do that I love having people over and being able to cook and just having it be like you know just substantial meals and food and like good food I like having a you know control over what I'm consuming and that's harder to do whenever you eat out all the time or you're going to the grocery store all the time because you like ready-made stuff. Um, I had posted a blog here a couple weeks ago now. Actually, I think it was last month about like how I always kept my pantry stocked um, when I went through a year of unemployment. And I learned a lot during that year, but also was like the amount of stuff like I could make with very little items and like how to keep like things I would consider like important items like always stocked. And that's kind of been a lifestyle I've basically embraced ever since then. Now, do I still buy stuff that are specific to certain things? Of course I do. Like, I'm, I'm not uh, living, like, on a shoestring budget. But, um, I mean, I'm out of school. I've got a decent job. Like, I, make, I bring home the bacon and I'm the breadwinner for me, myself, and I. But knowing how to keep all of my basics on hand and being able to make a lot of stuff from scratch, it overall, it just saves you money and you get better quality. And so now I'm at that point in my life where I'm investing more in like quality food 
and being able to just uh, live a more like whole food lifestyle more or less. So I do a lot of my own baking and cooking and like I don't go out to eat that often anymore, but it is a really fun thing to do to be able to be in the kitchen and cook. And I'm making a lot of this and it's probably going to end up having to find its way over to work or maybe to some people from church. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing how everything turns out and then showing you all of the final products once everything has been baked. Okay, sorry, I'm backlit. Let's turn this direction so you, I look better. Um, so pretzels are out of the oven. The loaves and the Bosco rolls are all in the oven right now. But let me just show you how my pretzels turn out. Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they pretty? So I did three different kinds. So I did more of just a sea salt one. Those are down here. I did everything but the bagel seasoning on these. And then I did garlic parmesan with some rosemary on these ones up here. So ignore my sink. So I kind of want to try the pretzels because they look so good. We're going to try one. We're going to try one. You'll just know that one's missing whenever I show you the final, final, all the products. So, here we go. I'll try this one. See how it turns out. And remember, these are sourdough too, so. They ended up nice and chewy. Um, I probably should have boiled them a little bit longer. I felt like I was boiling them long enough. I mean, I followed the recipe, but it could be. I was boiling in a cast iron. Like cast iron, cast iron. Dutch, Dutch skillet. So, hmm. But it does have that nice chew on it. And I like the garlic and the parmesan taste. It's a nice, um savory pretzel that like is a, it's a good snack so i'm looking forward to probably snacking on these throughout the week they might just be a meal at some point but and taking them on the road because i'm actually traveling this week so yep definitely worth my afternoon to make these i approve it's all out of the oven i just took it out oh my goodness it all looks so pretty okay so, I saw that I made the pretzels. Here are the loaves, the apple butter. So this is the braid. So it expanded a ton. I think part of that might have been just because apple butter in and of itself, like it's so, because it's so liquidy, I think that kind of fed in and with the sourdough and then with the apple, you can actually make like yeast out of apple. So I think probably what happened with this is from the amount of apple butter, I think it fed the sourdough more and made it expand more because this one expanded quite a bit too, but not as much, although it was smaller, it still expanded a whole lot. And then the Bosco rolls, look at the, look at how, how pretty. I need to put some butter on them so that way it'll, they'll be all nice and soft, but aren't they pretty? Probably what I'm honestly going to do with this one is I am going to go on ahead and probably warm up some pesto and then we're gonna have a little bit of this probably for dinner i'm just saying i have some fish that i made too and this would be excellent to go along with it that has been my cooking adventure and baking adventure today thank you so much for watching my video if you liked it make sure that you like and subscribe that helps me know what videos are doing really well and it lets me know what kind of content you all want to be able to see I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I will see you the next time I decide to go on a road trip. Bye!